All right, we're back again. We just got to, I don't know, we're playing on fucking five speed, and like we got pushed off our port here in Naval Invasion, so this is just going to be really frustrating here. This, I don't know, like, uh, it's, uh, I pretty much had it with this campaign. It's been, like, but pretty frustrating and boring. This guy's on last stand, I guess. Uh... Probably put these guys over here uh, so they can get some supply up again. Hopefully, uh, they can fight a bit better. We'll, uh, shuffle these guys somewhere else. I don't have enough campaign power for, uh, or is that, is that even the right unit? No, it's these guys over here. And. A little bit of shuffling, and you have extra supplies, so we'll do that, help our organization out a bit. And where's our, uh, their tank units? We're gonna take the port back. I need another uh, field marshal with logistics wizard. I only have 40 command power anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I hope we can get our port back and resume this, uh, this offensive here. And this is a plane style, so it's pretty weakly guarded. Unfortunately, it looks like we did lose. Uh, we did lose three divisions there in that invasion, but it is what it is. Let's uh, build a port here. We got a three-speed this time. Then they get cut out like that again. Let's go for this damage control thing, I guess. I think the Somalians are uh, coming over to help us out. That's interesting, I guess. The South American section fight syndicalist resistance. Yeah, I don't know. My campaign or my campaign this uh, this afternoon has been pretty like pretty fucking sloppy. Like you saw I me, mean, we got tanks circled in Spain, and we just uh, you know I didn't have my troops in position in Mozambique. I didn't notice. I thought I just saw the order, and we were still in transit navally uh, when I declared war, which uh, 
you know, it's, obviously that didn't that didn't go well. So it's a lot of mistakes. Unfortunately, I don't think I have an engineer to uh, to break these uh, these forts, but we're gonna be through them pretty soon, I think, anyways. I think we're gonna control all this. Split there. Grab uh, maybe another stack of guys here. Uh, yeah, rearrange this. I don't need you guys. You guys can go. Can go to a different theater. That guy's ill. On, you guys are still in Europe, so that's fine. a few more troops to this. Like South Africa seems like they got like uh, a decent amount of stuff. Even come here and go for like a pin maybe. Start making some encirclements. Alright and uh, yeah let's get this uh, these naval guns I guess. Maybe. There we go. Another, uh, another pocket. So, uh, maybe do an attack and like stop these guys from moving so we can circle them a bit better. Peace now. Uh, gang's all here. Not sure who called them in though. Are they even called in? No, they're just putting their troops there, it looks like. Uh, I guess we can call everyone. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I thought last episode we'd be done with this, but uh, Uruguay has capitulated. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought we were done going to be done last episode, but it turns out there were, uh, in fact, more decisions to take that I had forgotten about to uh, reform the Empire. And one of them is, uh, is doing South Africa, so we're, we're doing that, and then... Uh, Yeah, well, uh, we'll see if Germany will give us their colonies back. Which, I mean, they're still at war with the Russians, so, like, hopefully they will. Like, this has been, like, a stalemate here for, like, years. I guess if we got their ciphers, like we just might as well use it. think we have unfortunately that's because we don't have any airbase well I guess we probably have airbases now These guys gotta be probably pretty close to capitulating to you. It's a lot of stuff. So we got that, and then we'll just uh, line up for, uh, I guess, war with Egypt. Well, looks like I can see a whole bunch of where their guys are over here. That's interesting. I haven't revealed intel for them. speed wait for our troops to get into position this time big uh, big point to remember uh, South Africa keep our protectorates nice get some clay there How about you guys come back to the English channel Along with uh, these guys over here. So you got some extra, extra ships. We'll see how that does. All right. Did 
the uh, smoke generators. close to do that and then we'll go see if Jeremy will give us a call and he's back if they give us a call and he's back then that's going to be it for this campaign if not then we'll be uh we'll be fighting round two against Kaiser I guess Let's see how long this takes these guys to get into position man this has been like a long game a long game I think if you're definitely trying to do like a world of conquest or like you want to do late game play or something, like I don't know. I mean, like I feel like he, this isn't the way to do it with the United Kingdom. Just uh, you spent you spent way too much time trying to to do reconstruction. The reconstruction mechanic in this game is just fucking awful. It's a uh, completely. It's like such a fine kill. I guess I haven't even been uh, clicking these decisions like all that often either. Like uh. And we still have Syndicalist Resistance, which should be gone after this last one. Well, it looks like we're almost, uh, looks like the gang's almost all here, though. Like, uh, it's like we are in position. Alright, let's see if Germany will give us our ship back. Alright, they did. Looks like there will be no round two this game, boys. Ceylon, let me get Malaysia. All right, so I'm gonna call it there. Then it's it's uh, January 1949. Now we're playing as uh, the UK. So uh, the Entente, we got South Africa and uh, you know the Portuguese colonies, uh, quite a bit of North Africa, Egypt, Middle East, India, Australasia, uh, Malaysia. It looks like a couple of the the old uh, German East Asian uh, uh, guys. Not sure exactly what happened over here. Uh, the, you know, uh, Australasia might have went over there and got them. That's weird. And then Insul India or the Dutch East Indies is in uh, is in the Reich's back, yeah. So I think Japan declared on uh, on German East Asia. I'm not sure what happened with that. I wasn't really paying too much attention there, but they're in, I guess they're in the Entente, so that's neat. Of course, we have the UK. We have like a little corner of France there. Uh, we got Spain. We got most of South America, except for I guess Bolivia and Goyaz. I think there's some. I think there's like a bug with Goyaz because like I've had it before too, where uh, uh, Goyaz, like even though they're a Brazilian puppet or whatnot, they didn't like go in the peace deal. They're still separate. They're still at war or whatnot. So that's kind of that's kind of annoying. 
West Indies Union, which again was pretty frustrating. We didn't get the event to uh, to go to war with them when they separated. We got Mexico, and uh, we got Canada. So I mean, I guess you would call this like a mostly successful campaign. Like we did lose, uh, we did lose because we declared at war early. We did lose Portugal and France to the uh, Third International, and and uh, I guess their legitimacy died. And uh, the Reichs Pact is able to grab that clay in that peace deal, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the Germans are still at war with the Russians. They've been stuck at like this bottleneck, trying to push, like which, I, which is pretty ridiculous. Like look at the look at the number of units that are on those tiles that we can see there. So uh, that's probably going to go on for like a while. But we're at peace. Uh, we've done all the focuses for rebuilding the empire, and uh, we clicked on all the decisions. Uh, I do I do regret a bit not absorbing the West Indies Union, uh, given that they stabbed us in the back in the way that they did. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for this campaign. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I mean, this one was like a bit of a boring one, to be honest. Like, I don't uh, I wouldn't recommend playing this again. And just like until the until the dev team decides to to fix the UK, so it's not like broken as fuck. Like, I don't, it took us like three and a half years to like get up to be like uh, you know like a major power with like an army that has decent tank divisions and like enough infantry to hold a line and stuff. It was uh, it was pretty awful. I mean, like. You just get so bored and frustrated, and you know, like uh, I don't know, I made a, I made some mistakes in Spain. There, we lost, uh, we lost three tank divisions, which is, uh, which is pretty sad. And then, uh, you know, again, I made that mistake over here where I was trying to rush this, and I didn't wait for my guys to get into position in Mozambique. And we, uh, you know, this was like a lot harder than it had to be. Uh, you know, what's that? That's that. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Levy Freeman signing out.